Quickly before I show you guys how to set it up, the first thing you guys are gonna want to do to make Titan skating work is you're gonna wanna make sure you have the line rampants and the catapult lift. Line rampants are not required, but make you go a lot quicker. You what's up guys, it's Sweat. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up a Titan skating macro for PC. Sadly, Titan skating is only possible on PC at the moment just due to a frame issue on console. I'm not sure why Titan skating is related to frames and why it isn't possible on console, but that seems to be the case. So the first thing you guys are gonna to wanna to do is find your software that you guys use for your gaming mouse. I find the Logitech gaming software very simple and easy to use to set this up. You can use any Logitech mouse that you guys want. I personally use the Logitech G502. I'll leave a link down to that in the description if you wanna check it out. It's a very affordable and a very nice mouse. So as you guys open up the software here, you click into your mouse and you'll come up to this screen here. You guys are gonna look to the left, you see the commands thing here, you're gonna click the little plus in the top right. You're going to go down to multi-key and you're gonna name it whatever you want. Name ours Titan Skating Macro. So under repeat options, the first thing you guys are gonna to wanna to do is you guys are gonna to wanna to do while pressed. So now we need to re record a keybind that we're going to use for Titan skating. And in this case, if you use the spacebar to jump like every other normal person, you're just going to click start recording. You're gonna press your spacebar once and it should say space down and space up. And then you can click stop recording. It's just going to automatically loop space down and space up while you're holding the button that you assign this to. So you're gonna leave your, your millisecond delay on 25 milliseconds. It doesn't really matter too much. Anywhere between 25 to 30 should be okay. I personally like to use 25. So as we go back into commands here, we found the command that we just created, the Titan skating macro. You can click and drag this to any of the buttons on your mouse. I personally like to use this one right next to left click here, the one on the top. So now that that is set up, it should immediately work. I go back into Destiny 2 here and I'm gonna hold down my button and it should start Titan skating. This is easily possible to do with other brands of gaming mice. I just know how to do it with the Logitech as it is very simple and easy to use. Another thing that I would like to add is that I'm pretty sure this is possible on Logitech keyboards as well. You do the same thing except drag the macro onto your keyboard so in this next clip here, uh, courtesy of my buddy Ice, thank you, Ice, um, he's setting up a macro in the Razer Synapse application. He connects it to his keyboard here, but it also is possible on Razer Mice. You just need to follow the same steps that he does here. I can't really explain what he's doing too well because I'm not familiar with the Razer application myself. And if you do not have either of these applications using a Razer or Logitech product, you can find other products for your mice. All you need is a program that allows you to assign a macro to either your keyboard or your mouse that you use. And you just follow the same sort of steps, making sure that there is a delay of about 0.25 seconds. And the important part of it is just making sure that it is looped so that while you're holding it down, it just continuously presses it every 0 0.025 seconds. That's it for the tutorial, guys. If you guys are new, feel free to subscribe. And if you guys have any questions on the Logitech side of things, I'd be happy to answer them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.